Hi, I'm Brian Holers with Root Cause. Today we're in Renton, Washington. We're expanding tree grades. Trees that grow well cause problems. That's a, that's a term that, that's an expression I've used many times. Trees are pla planted in the sidewalk and surrounded by these fixed metal grates or fixed cast iron grates. Grates are awesome at creating a walking surface around the trees. They're awesome for a period. They remain awesome if they're maintained. And what we're doing today is we're maintaining them. The problem is that as the tree continues to grow, the tree is, in, in many cases, the tree is slightly off center. Um, and in particular, if it's off center, over time as it grows, it grows directly into the cast iron grate. The metal doesn't budge at all. And so the, the, the metal grate will completely girdle the tree. You can see here where, uh, where, where the tree, where the grate had begun to girdle the tree. We caught it before it got to be a problem. But this is what will happen and it will get a lot worse over time. These grates are designed typically with concentric circles in them so they can be, the metal can be cut and they can be made larger over time. It's a really tedious, potentially dangerous project and a lot of times it just doesn't happen. But we've been called in by the city of Renton to expand these grates and this is, this is what we've been doing all week. Uh, total for the project, there are about 80. We've done, uh, we've done 60 or so, so far. In order to cut the metal, we use a tool called a plasma cutter. I'm just a tree guy. I'm not going to pretend to know exactly how it works. I just know it takes a large amount of electricity and uh, a machine that creates an arc and it creates so much heat that it essentially melts the metal and allows us to cut it. It has a towable diesel power generator to create the power. The grates are designed with these metal tabs and you're, you, you go around and you cut each of the tabs and again that takes that centerpiece out of the, of the metal and allows, us to, allows the grate to expand. As we've seen in our other videos, a lot of times we take out these metal grates and we replace the surface with porous paper. Porous paper is a great solution to this problem too. However, when you got metal grates like these, you want to keep them as long as possible. These trees are not very big yet and they may not get very big. Uh, they're still they're still flush with the sidewalk. At, at a certain point, trees often get big and they kick the metal grates up so that they're completely unfixable. And in fact, we've had to remove some of them um, on this project completely. Um, but while they're still sitting, while they still sit flat and they're still fixable, or they can still be expanded, I recommend keeping the grates in place as long as possible. Uh, but for the setup here, we use these, we have these fireproof screens We've been doing this all week and we got parked cars, you know, right next to us and we just keep the screen down so that the sparks don't get under it. We've had absolutely no problems. For a safety checklist, first and foremost, make sure you've got a proper respirator. And second and just as important is a face screen. Third, quite important, your insulated heavy duty gloves. Uh, then you want to have the the fireproof screen set up to keep the sparks from flying into parked cars or pedestrians or whatever else. And then finally, make sure you have available water to put out any fires or to just to cool off the metal as, we cut, as you cut it. If you're a municipal arborist and you see that you have trees being girdled by tree grates, give us a call at Root Cause.